In this video, I'm going to show you a simple but also a very effective design, centipede. There are several types of centipedes in Texas. Uh, they normally live in the damp areas, such as underground, under the rocks, rotten logs. Although they are not really a type of water creatures, but they can swim by bending their body trunks. So they are probably not the main food source for the bass, but if they do show up in the water, I don't think the bass can resist them. Here's a picture of a giant centipede. And as you can see, uh, there are about 20 segments and each segment has a pair of legs. In general, the segments are longer when they are closer to the tail. And each leg also has sections with different thickness, especially the last pair. So I will add that in the design, but just for the last pair. For the rest of the legs, I will do a simpler design. For the segment, initially when I did the design the first time, I used a different approach where I started with two ellipses and then an offset plan. Then I project the large ellipse to that plan and then did a loft between the small and large ellipses. Here I'm going to show you a different approach. Here I start with just one ellipse. Then I extrude that ellipse and in the option there is a taper angle. So I set it to 10 degrees. And now we have achieved the same result. Now just add a fillet to the edge. Next, we'll make four copies of the segment. Actually, I'll make five. And for the fifth one, I will scale that for the next section. Now we will repeat the same process for the middle section. And finally, we will make 12 copies of the last section, which is the longest segment. And now let's make the legs. I will do a similar process where I will create the four legs first, four pairs of legs, and then move on to the next section and then the final section. And as you can see, the, the legs are coming out from the bottom of the segment. That's why I put them there. I didn't do the legs along with the segment because uh, I don't want to scale them the same way as I scaled the segment. In fact, I want to make them longer, so it's a different type of process. Now I want to change the angle of the last pair of legs. So what I did here is I went back in time before I make the mirror. So I need, just need to change one leg. And after I come back in the current time, both legs will be fixed. Now the tail segment. Draw the outline extrude and uh, make some fillet. Now the last pair of legs. And here I want to have more details, so I break it up into different sections. 
and each section will have different uh, thickness. So after I finish those sections, I will assemble them into one leg. I didn't do the head because I just want to fish it with the Texas rig. I have to cut the head off anyways, so. I did the registration pegs and holes in this layout so that I just need to create one file and I print it twice. Then I have the full mold. Here's the finished mold. Let's look at the centipede again. All right, thanks for watching. Not so fast. I really want to give you guys a full picture, so I'm back here to add the head of the centipede. So again, we start with the outline and then extrude the head profile. Here we go, the complete centipede. Now what's left is the mold box. So first we go back to the timeline, move the sprue, and then click the sketch for the outline of the mold box. And we move the, the edge of the mold box outline, then that's it. All right, here's the mold. I made those a while ago, so they are headless version. There's no head on this one. And they measured um, about seven inches. Is the, the product. Pretty big, I would say. Seven inch. And um, so I made a smaller version of that. I call this Centipede Junior. It's about six inches. So, this one I spread some heat resistant paint and it didn't work out too well so don't do that all right let's do some water test B 
because of the legs, which cause a lot of drag when the bait is moving in the water. So the tail is falling slower than the head, which is very easy to make the bait dance in the water. Hope you enjoyed this video. For those bait makers who would like to give this a try, I hope you have enough information or inspiration to start. Leave your comments and questions if you have any. Please subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Ciao.